Starfield, the popular space survival game from Bethesda, has had a bit of a rocky year since it launched back in September. But things have gone from average to quite bad with the release of Shattered Space, with the community giving it a very negative score. And we've gone over my thoughts and feelings on that already, going over a bit of a review, what you can expect from it, and how I personally enjoyed or didn't enjoy it, which I'll be honest, from the get-go, I did enjoy Shattered Space. It was missing a lot and didn't live up to what I was hoping it would, which I do believe as um, this video will go on to a little bit later, is some of the core problems with Starfield itself. People are expecting Fallout in space, and Starfield just isn't that. It doesn't have the exploration, the storyline, or the freedom of choice to go along with it, which is a massive shame, and I wish they would have incorporated a lot more of that freedom into the main story, and especially the Shattered Space DLC. One of the biggest letdowns from Shattered Space and the game overall is that lack of freedom and the emphasis on the exploration in Shattered Space that was going to bring us back to a sort of Fallout-esque style exploration was relatively good and it did uphold some of that in there, but not as much as people would want. It is full of tiddly little bugs, nothing major, but unfortunately that's a bethesda game we just roll with it if you're a bethesda fan you know how it is and you accept the bugs for what they are which we shouldn't really have to but we do but more recently shattered space has seen a massive downturn in steam reviews as you can see the overall reviews for the game itself are 59 percent of the 105 thousand are positive and then over the last 30 days just 45 percent of those are positive reviews which is a massive shame but it does get much worse than that with Starfield Shattered Space sitting at 30% of the 3,000 reviews being positive, which is absolutely mental. From a Bethesda game, I don't even think Fallout 76 reached 30%. I can't remember what Fallout 76 was at its lowest. I'm pretty sure it was something like 46 or 42%. Something along those lines. I could be completely wrong there. If I am, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure you will. But one of the developers has responded to the criticism and backlash of Shattered Space. Now this is Emil, he responded to some of these in a uh, in a sort of interview. We'll go over some of that in just a second. He's a studio design director at Bethesda, and he is one of the old school devs that has been there for quite a while. Um, him and a few others, they have all worked on Shattered Space. Now it's not to take away from everything that has been put into Shattered Space, because it does improve vastly on the base game, but just not as much and in those specific areas that we would have liked to see. Now, a lot of this happened on Twitter with him posting um, a sort of interview, and then it was picked up by places like GamesRadar, and a lot of Twitter people went a little bit nuts on it. Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. But the title of the article is Bethesda's lead addresses Starfield Shattered Space criticism. Nobody, and I mean nobody at Bethesda, is patting themselves on the back while ignoring our players. Which... I do think it does seem like that's happening sometimes at Bethesda, um, especially with all of the feedback that they got for the Shattered Space DLC. Shattered Space was initially meant to launch early 2024, unfortunately got pushed back, released late 2024, and a lot of us did think that those delays of uh, however long it may have been what six months four months we don't know the original release date but they did push it back and back a couple of times so what happened in that time we all were under the belief that they accepted the criticism that they got from the base game and improved on that and worked on it for the shattered space dlc and it doesn't seem like they've done that yes they did take on board a lot of the feedback when it came to exploration and they worked on that a lot. But Shattered Space seems to be much more of a uh, a dialogue mini game than, uh, than a full Bethesda DLC. Exploration is there, but the main quest lines don't really take you on of any of those exploration loops. Doing some of the side quests do take you a little bit further out into places you may not have seen. But the main storyline itself consists of eight missions and a lot of those are based around the capital city of Dazra and don't really force you to go out and explore or move around the actual planet and map itself, which is a shame. Now, Emil did post a lengthy Twitter thread, which we will go over in a second, but they've summed up the most of it here in this article. He said that optimism and excitement are standard for interviews, 
and I'm generally optimistic and excitable about games by nature, but my optimism is no way meant to be mud in the eye of any disfatticide fans. That's not how it works, and I can't speak today. Emil affirmed that he's very proud of the expansion and that most of the quests and levels were developed by BGS veterans going all the way back to Morrowind. The dev said Starfield fans who haven't played the DLC are missing out, and those who have played it and are disappointed in it make him sad, pointing out a proof that the studio has also been hearing from plenty of people who do love it. And I'm sure they have. It is swings and roundabouts. But when it's uh, 30% positive on Steam, yes, some of those could just be uh, just hate reviews, but I'm not 100% sure. When it comes in at that price of $25.99 as well, it is a bit more of a kick in the teeth when a lot of the time is spent in dialogue, there's not too much action, and nothing really gives you that opportunity to go out and explore. You do all of the main quest line, and then you go out to explore afterwards. Which, when it comes to Fallout 4, um, or any Fallout game really, moving from one place to another to do quest lines, you always got sidetracked. You, you know, thou not get sidetracked by some bullshit. Which, very true, and that is one of the beautiful things about Fallout and Bethesda games. But Starfield just doesn't seem to have that to it. Now, we did finish off by saying maybe it's a game of expectations. He said that fans want a lot and we do what we can to accommodate them, but nobody, and I mean nobody at Bethesda, is patting themselves on the back while ignoring our players. And I kind of agree with that. As I mentioned at the start of the video, everybody wanted Starfield to be a Fallout game in space. And it is just not that. If you treat Starfield, and it was treated as a sort of standalone game, I think the reviews would have been a hell of a lot better. But a lot of people had in their mind that this is going to be Fallout with spaceships on multiple planets. And the exploration in Starfield does not live up to that name. So I think that is one of the main points of criticism for Starfield as a whole, not just the Shattered Space DLC. And it would be nice to see the team take on a lot more of the players' feedback uh, we did see a lot of updates, uh, fixing, patching, making things better. But then, since they announced Shattered Space and all the lead up to it, nothing else really happened. We got the REV8 update, and that was plagued with tons and tons of bugs. The REV8 is an okay machine, but if you're going anywhere that isn't a sort of flat desert planet, then it doesn't get anywhere quick. You are better off just using your jetpack. Don't get me wrong, they are fun, and I do love the game. I know it doesn't sound like that in this video, but I do. Now, on Twitter, it kicked off a little bit more, with some decent stuff going on, and it's pretty damn spicy. If you do want to see the full conversations, make sure you head over to Emil's Twitter, give him a follow. No hating. Developer, it's a job. He's got a job like everybody else, and they're doing the best they can. Yes, some people may not like it, and they are in that public sphere. So, a little bit of backlash is to be expected, but don't be a dick to people. There's no need. It's, it's a very long thread, basically saying the team are patting themselves on the back whilst players are completely disappointed. A pat on the head based on reviews may not be warranted. I haven't played it, but I can't justify the purchase with the current cost under the reviews. The tone of the interview is very tone deaf to the wider community. And it goes on going over things about bugs and lots of other little bits going into um, Cyberpunk 2077. Loads and loads of good stuff there about Fallout and the previouses and the things that have gone wrong and gone good. Now, Emil has responded saying, I appreciate you taking the time to passionately share your thoughts. I mean, I agree with everything, but I understand and appreciate where you're coming from. Twitter has never been a place to polite discourse, but I'd like to address what I can, and I don't like leaving fans hanging. In fact, I generally say more than I should. We have a community team for a reason, but I think a bridge to the devs is important. First of all, with the interview, as the design director, sometimes I'm asked to conduct and interviews, and I was happy to do that, to represent the designers and the studio, seeing how hard and passionately they worked on Shattered Space, and they deserve nothing less. And I agree with that. They deserve nothing, but... Not so much, wow, you guys are amazing, you did everything perfectly right, but they deserve respect, and they've worked hard. Yes, things haven't always gone to plan, but they're still trying their best and getting out what they can. He continues to say optimism and excitement are standard. Now he goes on, we've already done these bits, we've read this through, this was in the article. Obviously, game of exceptions. But in addition to Shattered Space, he says they've also spent a lot of the time addressing community concerns and making fixes, and we will continue to do so. We'll be listening to our fans every step of the way, and we make these games for all of you. 
Starfield is a massive game. It takes time for us to address things. We move as fast as we can and as safely as we can. Game development is always tricky, but with a game as big as Starfield, every fix could potentially break something else. To close, I do want to say that I love games. Bethesda's games, I've been playing them since the Terminator days. All I or anyone wants to do is make those games and make them better. No ego, no arrogance, just a lot of hard work and appreciation of our fans. Which, I think that's good. Relatively humble. But yes, a lot of the stuff is being ignored. Whether it's being ignored for different reasons. Whether it's being ignored because it's not seen. We don't know. We do not know what goes on inside Bethesda Game Studios. We don't know what the team's thinking. We don't know. They could be reading it going, nah, fuck off, we're not doing that. I highly doubt it, but you never know. And I do think they do try their best. But as mentioned, with a game this big, there can be things that go wrong. They don't take the criticism lightly, and I hope they don't. The game is okay, but a lot of it is very much um, bland compared to other previous bethesda titles that has been my point since starfield launched i love the game i enjoy the game but when you have that comparison there and we know what bethesda can do starfield does fall very short of the rest of the bethesda projects let me know what you think in the comments down below though for now though we're going to wrap that one up there we've got something a little bit special coming in the next couple of days not starfield related but it is space related so it's something i've been willing to check out for a while um through my twitter there has been a few hints at what i'd like to do so if you've been following then you might know what i'm going to be playing let me know what you think in the comments down below are you excited for the future of starfield or do you think it's something that bethesda should just leave behind now and work on their uh, more established titles let me know down below for now though i've been cowboy you've been awesome thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one